This combination might look easy to throw, and for me it is, that's because I've got so much experience in this, but for someone who's doing this for the first time, the one-two, even though it is the most basic combination in boxing, it can be pretty difficult, and there's a lot of mistakes that I see with beginners throwing this combination. And if you don't know who I am, my name's Tony Jeffries, I'm an Olympic bronze medalist, I won seven national titles, a European gold medal, and I'm here on this YouTube channel to give you knowledge to get better at boxing. So, the one, two. Some of the most common mistakes I see with beginners throwing this, they'll do this. That's a jab, then a cross. And we're not doing that, we want it to flow together. The way we do that, we throw the jab. As the jab is coming back to the face, that's when the cross is coming out. Rather than throwing the jab and bringing it back, then the cross comes out. As it's coming back, that's when you'll rotate your hip and throw that cross there. So it'll be a one, Two, I'll show you from this angle. One, two. And as you notice there, I'm turning my hip when I'm throwing that cross. And that leads me on to the second most common mistake that I see, which is this. <laughs> now, what that is, that's arm punches. I'm not getting any weight behind the punch. You need to turn your hip to get the weight behind the punch, which only helps you punch harder. So it's one, as that's coming back, if you watch my hip and watch my back foot, two. Now from there, I've got 60% of the weights transferred to my front leg there. And that's getting the power in the punch. Now, another common mistake I see, which you wanna make sure you're not doing, which you might do, is hold your breath when you're throwing these. Cause you know, it's natural for us if we think, I wanna punch hard, is to hold our breath. <clears throat> but no, that will get you tired fast, and as well, you're not gonna get the speed in the punch or the power in the punch. So make sure you exhale with each time you throw that punch. <laughs> Probably the biggest common mistake I ever see is this. <laughs> see what I'm doing wrong there? If I do it in slow motion, jab, bringing this hand down here. It needs to come back to your face. Your non-punching hand should be by your face at all times. No matter what punch you're throwing, the hand that that's not punching, it needs to be up. So it'll be this. And this right here is the perfect one too. Now I just want to give you a bonus tip to get more power in the punch. It's more advanced, and once you figure out how to do the basic one too, then you can try this one. And what that is, it's stepping forward as you throw the one too. And what I'm doing there is I'm getting the momentum of the movement behind the punch, which is increasing the power even more. So again, slow motion, jab, cross. And as the punch lands, the foot lands as well. <laughs> and I'm moving forward with the punches. So if you're out of range and you want to step in range and throw punches and get power in the punches, that's what you need to do. <laughs> that right there is the perfect one too. But before you try and perfect that, make sure you've perfected the cross. That's why I created this video right here, showing you exactly how to perfect the cross in boxing. Click here and watch this video next.